The following program was paid for by Real Estate Radio Network. The hosts are not an employee of WMTR or its parent company, Greater Media. The views and opinions expressed on the credit pros on Real Estate Radio New Jersey are not necessarily those of the staff and management of WMTR. Station management has not investigated the claims made in financial service spots that may air during this program. As always, it is advisable to consult a professional before making a major financial decision. You're listening to The Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio New Jersey on 1250 AM WMTR. Now your hosts, local credit experts, Damon DiCrescenzo and attorney Jason Kaplan. Good morning, New Jersey. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, and this is The Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio Network, 1250, giving you an hour packed of credit information every Sunday morning. Bad credit, no credit, lousy credit. Don't sweat it. We're going to make it all right. And I'm runs. here, and Damon, my uh, partner's here, too. Say hi, Damon. Hey, guys. Uh, for those who don't know Real Estate Radio, it is a show that's dedicated to building New Jersey's housing credit markets, uh, because in every market, there are solutions, there are problems, but most importantly, there are opportunities. And you need some real advice, and that's our message, and we deliver it every week here on Sunday, 7 to 8 a.m., and on 1250 AM. And I want to remind you that if you ever have any real estate or credit related questions, you should pick up the phone and call us on our off air line. Jason and myself will personally assist you. Our number is 973 771 5118. That's 973 771 5118. Or you can always visit us on the web at creditrepair.to. Well, we have a special guest here in the um, studio today, so it's not just going to be me and Damon um, talking your ear off. You know, it's important uh, uh, that, you know, we talk about all the time getting real-world advice to real-world problems, and that's sort of the, what the core of what we do here. I like to think that we bring in some some very in, informative guests and, and powerful information, and we're really very fortunate this week to have Kirsten Ennis in studio with us. She is an attorney here in New Jersey, and her practice is out of Somerville, New Jersey. Uh, Kirsten, hello, and thank you for joining us. Good morning. How are you? I've had better days, but I've had worse days as well, and so who am I to complain? Um, So one thing that I wanted to ask you about right off the bat, is what is up with Charlie Sheen? Yeah, I'm, I, I, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. Um, it, uh, it's not available because if you try it once, you will die. Your face will melt off and your children will weep over your exploded body. I have no idea. What do you know about this gentleman? Jason, where, what do you know about Charlie Sheen? I don't know if anyone out there saw the 2020 interview on Tuesday night, but I think that guy is certifiably insane. This is what I think. I think that it's refreshing to hear someone so uh, unhinged, but also unfiltered, right? He has, there's no uh, filter between his mouth and, and his brain. What he thinks comes out. And what he thinks that comes out is genius, is pearls of wisdom. Well, to be honest with you, I think tiger blood. And what was the other one? Adonis. Um, he has Adonis DNA. Adonis DNA. Ad- Ad- Adonis he- DNA. Tiger blood pumping through his veins. He has veins. tiger blood pumping through his veins, which is why it doesn't get hurt. I think the crazy thing is, I mean, he was, it wasn't even a constant run on sentence. It was a constant run on sentence fragments. Because he would say things like, it's good. Look at the girls. Um, doing well. I'm cool. I win. I win. Yeah. He, he, winning. Was he winning. He That's what it's he's about. Winning. It's winning. <laughs> so it, it, I think that if you're going to go off the deep end, do it in dramatic style. Have a little bit of flair. And I think that Charlie Sheen has has done that to the nth degree. Well, Good for him. Well, listen, I'll tell you something. No matter how much money that guy makes, I'm I'm convinced he is busted out. Right. You have a theory behind it. Preach. He's absolutely busted hear. out. Well, let's see. He makes... what? He, how many episodes 20, is in a season? Well, we talked about 20 mil a year, right? Twenty. Well, I think it might be even more because he makes about 1.8 million. In, what is there? 20 episodes? Okay. Break it so, down, So counselor. fine. $36 million a year. You got to think before taxes, at least 20% of it has to go to his support staff, his accountant, his manager, all those people. So now you're thinking more around 29, 28 million. Then Uncle Sam takes 40% off of the gross. So out of $36 million, that's got to be another, what, what is it, $15 million that's gone? So now he's down to about 13. Oh. 
Boo-hoo. He's crying all the way to the bank. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. But hold on. He's handing out $25,000 checks to every single girl he sees. Even the one that went to the tabloids, he called and apologized and handed her a $30,000 check. Good. So now you got to think it's a little... I think he admitted to having a half a million dollar drug habit annually, which you know he's underestimating because it's got to be more like a couple million dollars. He's got a couple homes. He pays $110,000 in alimony every single month. The guy's busted out. So listen, it, it leads us, it, it, let me just leave it that I, I, in so many ways, I have a lot of respect for him, the kind of man that he's obviously evolved to. It's a higher plan of consciousness, I think. So it, it leads us to some of the things that we were talking about, and, and uh, Jason and I were in the car this week, and we were talking about what happens if you get out of debt too fast. It, it, it's wild to think that you can get out of debt too fast. Every week we talk about some of the, the things that people need to do to get their life on track, what you need to do to make sure that you're paying your bills on time. Well, guess what? There are also pitfalls on the other side of the equation. We've put on paper the five signs that you, Joe Consumer, are getting out of debt too fast. You don't think it's possible? Guess what? It is possible. We're going to go through uh, a couple of them, and and you're probably going to be surprised, but it it makes good sense. So let's start at the beginning. If you're paying uh, your debt down, you've decided, you woke up, you listen to the credit pros on real estate radio, and you say, I've had it. I can't stand it. I'm paying off my bills. And you begin that process of putting every dollar that you make towards paying off your bills. You leave yourself exposed in a number of ways. You don't think so? Let's talk. What's the biggest way? I I absolutely agree that, Jason, you were a genius in putting this on paper to let our listeners know. But what do you see as the biggest sign that you're getting out of debt too fast? What happens when your car breaks down? Can you get right. it fixed to get to work? Right. What happens when um, there's an emergency at your house or your kids get sick? and it's out of pocket or you're not insured, can you afford to go to the doctor? Sometimes people put all their money towards debt because they're thinking, hey, you know, if I'm paying 27% on a credit card and I'm only getting 2% in the bank or 5% from investments, it's the smart thing to do. I'm saving money, which, yeah, I don't want you to have $20,000 in the bank and $10,000 in credit card debt, but nonetheless, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a break-even point that you want to make sure you don't ignore. That's right. So the number one reason or sign that you're getting out of debt too fast is you haven't planned for any of your expenses. Guys, if you're, if you're paying all of your money to paying down your debt and you break your leg, you're just giving yourself more debt. Things happen, as life said. Murphy's Law, right? If something is bad, it's going to happen. It usually does. Well, if it can't happen, it does. Well, I agree with you. And let, let's take it a step further, dealing with Murphy's Law, right? You don't want to... You don't want to be a slave to your life or a slave to the system. So you want to make sure that, and this is number two, that you don't put yourself in a situation where you're neglecting everything else. Okay? Yeah, if something's going to happen, it's going to happen. But don't make that misery the focal point of your your debt situation. So you want to be able to make enough money to go to the movies. You want to make enough money to take a girl out or or a guy out. <laughs> you want you know you don't you want to have some kind of social life. Otherwise, you're going to be miserable. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna binge and purge. Yourself. Yeah. So that that's awesome information. A key sign that you may be getting out of debt too fast is if you don't have two quarters to rub together to go get some popcorn at a movie with your loved one. If it's negle- if you're neglecting other key areas of your life, if this is causing other parts of your life harm, just like the debt that you've been incurring has been causing you harm, if paying the debt is causing other areas of your life harm, well, then you can always argue that it may not be worth it. And it makes good sense. That's good information. If you're just joining us, it's Sunday morning, and this is the Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio Network. If you have any questions, call us on our off-air line, 973-771-5118. Again, 973-771-5118, or on the web at creditrepair.to. This is kind of number 2B rather than number C. But, you know, are you feeling agitated or easily, um, are you depriving yourself of some of the niceties are you making yourself more grumpy are you not having good days because of the debt and and kirsten you know she has a law practice that caters with bankruptcy and 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 people who are in this kind of situation i'm sure kirsten aren't most of your clients a lot of them easily agitated and um angry when they come into your office uh yes definitely and i usually um try to provide information for them 
So it's based on just what you're talking about, quality of life. And if you are getting up every day and you're depressed and you don't want to go to work and you can't see the end in sight, I can provide options to let you be able to go home and sleep and enjoy your life because you only have one life. And if you're constantly just striving to pay your debt, it's not a quality life. Exactly. And that's why you might be paying it too fast if you're getting these kind of feelings. Well, you might not be able to pay it at all. You might be stretching yourself beyond something you can do. I think that the underlying uh, uh, takeaway there is that debt, whether you're paying it, debt, whether you're not paying it, is not a reason to lose your life over. It's not a reason to to uh, wake up every day and feel that the end is near and, and not spend enough quality time with your loved ones or feel that you're a good person uh, because there are solutions. There are some solutions to what we're talking about and absolutely solutions what Miss Ennis is talking about. It makes awesome sense. And, and you know, and, and, and this is something to Kirsten because the number four reason that you might be, number four... Um, thing that might show that you're paying off your debt too fast, um, the trait, is that um, you're depending on others and you're ignoring good financial habits that you might learn. Kirsten, for example, paying off your debt, going to her might be a good financial habit. If you don't go through with the bankruptcy, if you don't go through with paying off debt, whatever the case may be, at least you can go and you can learn something and gain habits. It's about education as well as just getting to the end. I think that that is really good advice. Think about it for a second. If you're paying off your debt too fast by borrowing money from Uncle Tommy, and Uncle Tommy drops 10000 on you and you pay off all your debt, really, what have you learned? What have you learned? Go to Uncle what, Tommy. Besides go to Uncle Tommy, and I hope it's not that kind of Uncle Tommy like uh, in my neighborhood, Uncle Tommy. If you didn't see, I just pressed my finger against my nose. It doesn't really translate well on radio, but... Um, it, it, there's sometimes there's value in the process. I think there's value in going through things in life uh, because you come out the other side a, a well-rounded, more educated person. In regards to debt, if someone uh, comes in and, and you and you are paying your debt off and they've given you all this money and you don't go through any hardship or consequence or learn any skills, then uh, perhaps that's not the the best. You're just you setting yourself it. up to fail again. I think that bankruptcy doesn't apply to that, though, because most people that are going to the bankruptcy process have learned the hard way what their mistakes have been, and they're suffering the consequence of that. Uh, they're two separate things, and and uh, I want people to realize, you know, if you if you're a high school if high school if you're a college student, somebody drops some money on you, and, and it's different than than if you're 45 years old and you have a family and you've been struggling with this debt problem for a number of years. So, so it's absolutely different. Uh, but know that going through it, coming out the other side, and understanding how you wound up there has true and meaningful value that you should be able to build off of for the rest of your life. Exactly. You want to learn good financial habits. You don't want to depend on someone else's good financial habits to get you out of that mess. And, 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 and Kirsten, I think, can, can vouch for this as well. You know, we're attorneys, and, and they call it a law practice. And the reason they call it a practice is because you learn something, and you get better every day. That's sitting in the studio and talking to other professionals. It's talking to Damon. It's talking to gentlemen on the street or my clients, because every situation makes you think, and you form new opinions, and you learn different things. And that should go through every aspect of your life, especially with your finances. Go to a professional. Talk to your neighbors, but start learning what habits are good that you see and what habits are bad. And you can choose what to emulate and what to ignore. That's right. There's a wealth of information that's out there. A lot of times people think that that uh, that their options are limited. And, and as a matter of fact, in the next segment, we're going to speak in detail about options. Uh, if you've ever thought about declaring bankruptcy or any of the, the, the things that go along with it, then you need to know that there are options, and we're going to give you some of those. We're going to. You're going to hear from an expert. You're going to hear from Kirsten Ennis. Uh, so one of the last things that I wanted to talk about about getting out of debt too fast is uh, the idea that even though we're going through this, it's not all bad. Getting out of debt too fast at the end of the day is compared to not getting out of debt at all. Is, is a good problem to have. Absolutely. So yeah. even though we're, we're going through the sort of the negative aspects of it, it's not really 
a negative thing. Um, what would, I'm trying to convey to you, though, is is getting out of debt is is a good idea, but you need to have all of your information. You need to know across the board what the good and the bad side of every financial decision that you're making uh, may come about. So, uh, you listen to the Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio Network. Uh, again, uh, if you want to call us on our off-air line, I welcome you to. We're here. Please give us a call at 973-771-5118, 973-771-5118. Or, if you'd like to speak with Kirsten Ennis from the law offices of Kirsten Ennis on the many options that she has available to you, I suggest picking up the phone to call at 908 713 0345 again 908 713 0345 she is also on the web at ns legal e n n s e n n i s l e g a l ns legal.com uh, join us after the break we're going to be talking about the options for you also what they don't want you to know some details of what collection agencies and creditors have been doing to take money out of your pocket stick around after the break we'll talk to you soon for all your credit problems concerns or questions call the show's off-air number at 973-771-5118 and speak to the hosts of the show damon DiCrescenzo and attorney jason kaplan directly 973-771-5118 this program is brought to you by the real estate radio network network visit realestateradio.us for more info that's realestateradio.us hello jason kaplan here host of the credit pros on real estate radio new jersey i'm thrilled that i get to speak to you every week and bring you the truth about your credit a lot of stuff you hear in the news is just flat out wrong if you want the inside knowledge about what's going on with your credit that's what i'm here for give me a call at 973-771-5118 That's 973-771-5118. Whether you're looking to buy a home, get a job, apply for car insurance, your credit's the most important factor in these decisions. I can help you make an educated decision about what's going on and what's best for you and your family. It's easy. I give you the real facts and you decide what to do from there. Just give me a call. I'm here to help. 973-771-5118. That's 973-771-5118. 771-5118 or visit us online at creditrepair.to. Thank you for listening and we'll be back from the break soon. Jason, tell me what the Credit Pros on Real Estate Radio New Jersey is all about. We're helping to dispel all the myths and misconceptions about credit. Myself and my partner, Damon DiCrescenzo, are certified credit counselors and credit experts. I'm an attorney, and what we do is we help you understand what goes into making a credit score, how the negative items impact your credit score, how the lack of positive items can also impact your score. There are so many parts to the Fair Isaac credit scoring model that people don't understand. I'm here to unlock those keys. So what are some of the things you're helping the people of New Jersey accomplish with their credit? Well, when it comes to doing anything in your life, buying a car, getting insurance, getting a job, passing security clearance if you're in the military, everything comes down to your credit score. So what happens is if people are not watching their credit score, if they don't know how to solve the problems that they're they're facing with their credit, they're going to have issues. So we need to help them deal with all of these issues. So who out there listening right now should call you today? Anyone. Anyone that looks for a job that's living and breathing out there in New Jersey. What happens is credit scores affect everything like I just mentioned. So if you're concerned, confused, if you have a particular question about a particular circumstance, just give me and Damon a call. Our number is 973-771-5118. It's just that simple. If you want the free credit advice in New Jersey, call attorney Jason Kaplan and the credit pros right now at 973-771-5118. That's 973-771-5118. For all your credit problems, concerns, or questions, call the show's off-air number at 973-771-5118 and speak to the hosts of the show, Damon DiCrescenzo and attorney Jason Kaplan, directly. 973-771-5118.